<coughs> Hello student, this is our tutorial one as you are uh, reading our tutorial one. So we are uh, I am logging a lot of videos, many many topics in your matrix. Now today we will discuss senior matrix or higher matrix. You can say this is very important for MSC, BSC, MSC, BSC. <coughs> Get net get for all exams BSc honors in mathematics set net get all net exams set exams etc. So we will continue to discuss uh, uh, for in senior matrix uh, I. First, already uh, take uh, uh, take that you are already known about what is a matrix. You know that, uh, so we can start senior level of matrix. So now, first take a square matrix A. A senior A square matrix A, which is a square matrix of n and odd, which is a senior, uh, Square matrix of n n order. So rows are n and columns are n. So this is a square matrix. Square matrix. Now this is square matrix. Uh, same rows, same columns, and the numbers of uh, rows are in and number of columns are in in so now we know the properties of x square matrix so now <coughs> take another matrix x here is a column matrix it is of power uh, it is in wash one one column and n rows this is column matrix because its column is one this is a column matrix column matrix now after taking or assuming this matrix is uh, will form a equation the equation is uh, this is important this is important i am marking star this is a very important equation a matrix uh, dot x equal to Lambda, lambda is a square, just a scalar. Lambda dot x. So we know what is consistent in consistent equations. It is a matrix notation. If we expand it, then it will take a very larger amount. So uh, we already know a is an in. Uh, square matrix n n square matrix x is a column matrix n cross 1 n rows and 1 column lambda is a scalar just a scalar uh, we know and x column matrix as we know now we can uh, write this in all in uh, matrix uh, is, is structure so look this it can be written a is, a is equal to the matrix form small uh, these are the elements a this is one one a one two dot 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 
लास्ट एलिमेंट फर्स्ट रो एंड एन कॉलम्स ना सेकंड रो एंड फर्स्ट कॉलम इज विल बी ए टू वन ए टू टू एंड डॉट 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 लास्ट एलिमेंट विल बी ए In this way, if we explain this uh, dot, dot 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 last uh, low row will be a and first column a last row n and first column one a n one a n two dot 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 last uh, element will be Diagonally, a n n. Now this is the a matrix in the expand form. Now what will be the x? X will be x will be. This is a column num column matrix. The electron will be taken in this in this way. First element is x. लास्ट रो इन सो यू कैन लुक दर आर एन एलिमेंट इन दिस कलम मैट्रिक्स And just one column and uh, n rows. So this is x and lambda is a square. Just a square. So mm, look this. <coughs> uh, I have already mm, so have shown you that uh, this equation a x is equal to lambda x. If we uh, expand in matrix form the equation, then what will we get? We will get n homogeneous equation in this form. Uh, if you know, yeah, I take that you know matrix multiplication. Here is matrix multiplication. Here is n n square matrix, n n one column matrix. So matrix after matrix multiplication. And equating, we will get and equating the same element with the same element on the other side. So we will get this a one one x one plus a one two x two. Actually, this is x one, x two one plus dot 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 plus last element will be one one. Plus last element will be a, and this will be one n x n one equal to lambda is square. That's why it will be multiplied all the elements in the column matrix. There will be lambda. This is homogeneous equation. One. So <coughs> this is homogeneous equation. The second homogeneous equation we will get 
a this two one x one one plus a two two x two one plus dot 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 plus a two n x will be n one And this will be equal to lambda x two lambda x two one. Such a manner to continue dot 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 dot. The last minus equation will get this. Uh, this will be a n. One x one one plus a n two x two one plus dot. Plus, last element will get a n n x n one. This will be equal to lambda x n. Now this uh, there are n homogeneous equations with n uh, variables. There are x one 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 variable, x two one two is n variable. There are x n one uh, n variable. So there are n uh, n number of variables and there are coefficient also uh, together. So if we will uh, take the right hand side to the left hand side, then we will get a proper uh, uh, proper Uh, view of this equation. Now take uh, take this such like it will be if the right hand side are taken to the left hand side then it will be a one one minus lambda. Uh, this will be x. Plus a two one two one x two one and plus daughter daughter. Plus a. Just I am reconstructing the previous page. The earlier n homogeneous can be written. One n. This is one n. Two x n one. Is equal to. In a book, it is very complicated to uh, written, so cannot be understood properly. That's why I am writing the, all these equations and taking this uh, time. Now, in the second equation, we will get a two one x one one plus here you can see that. 
a two two minus lambda here lambda will be subtracted because they the same variable x two one x two one the same variable here same variable x one one here a one one and lambda that's why here lambda is subtracted actually lambda are subtracted diagonally all from all the equations lambda will be subtracted from diagonally you can uh, go to a exercise book and draw do this you can find out that and just lambda will be subtracted diagonally this will be a two n to g the last term we will get since it is diagonally dot 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 last term will be a n one x one one plus uh, a n two x two one plus dot dot plus dot 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 plus here yeah, diagonally means here yeah, it will be subtracted a n n n minus lambda lambda x n 1 is equal to 0 so now the question is that that is 0 so there are n homogeneous equations and the yeah it is very clearly written now how many equations because the right hand side will always be zero and now the a n number of variables x11 x21 dot 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 x n1 have copies a11 minus lambda e21 dot 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 e1 n e21 e22 e22 minus lambda dot 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 so the coefficient if we will get a coefficient matrix then we have to remember that then this in homogeneous equation have a tribal solution. What is the tribal solution? In all f x one one equal to x two one equal to dot 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 plus equal to x n one all all the variables equal to 0 then we will get a tribal solution for this in homogeneous equation if all the variables are equal to 0 but if we will go, uh, we'll go to uh, find out non-tribal solution then what we will have to do I have to do that we have to uh, find out that And the determinant of the uh, coefficient matrix must equal to not equal must uh, the determinant of the coefficient matrix uh, must need to not equal to zero then we have a unique solution so uh, in, you can look this this coefficient matrix can be written in short form and uh, this coefficient matrix also can be written in this way right yeah, take this a x and equal to lambda x now can be further written lambda I will take uh, I is a n n n cross n identity matrix n n n identity matrix n n identity no, uh, already the identity matrix and then a and if we 
I take it either in this side, then what will you get? You will get it implies that you will get a minus lambda i n plus n n n equal to zero matrix equal to zero matrix zero matrix have all the components and zero of order n cross n this is of order n cross n so that is zero matrix so now if the determinant of this if the determinant of this is not equal to zero the determinant of this uh, matrix a minus lambda i am writing my right now we have to take that a and lambda have same uh, power rows and column both are square matrix and of same order it if it is not equal to zero this determinant is not equal to zero then this there is a unique solution of x there is a solution of x you will get unique solution unique solution <coughs> unique solution of x Unique solution of X means you will get just only one solution. Like if you see a example, two X plus three Y equal to the and one example is the three X plus. Uh, 7y is equal to 6. There are two equations. You are looking two equations. <coughs> you can make is homogeneous by writing 5 in this side and 6 in this side. So okay, there are two variables x and y. So we will get a unique solution of the two straight lines. Both are presenting straight lines in the Cartesian, uh, Cartesian plane. So we will get a unique solution because uh, this condition, uh, the coefficient matrix, we get um, this must be equal to, and um, the coefficient matrix determinant um, must be not equal to zero. So there will be a uh, we will get a unique solution. It is a very rough example. It is not under consideration, but if you will uh, um, go to uh, Present it in a matrix uh, notation form, taking uh, these uh, like uh, variables through variables. Then we can um, with this uh, example you can write in this form, and you will get this condition is true. If um, the determinant is not equal to zero, then you will get a unique solution. Otherwise, you will not get a unique solution. If uh, if you will get Minus lambda i this is i lambda i e minus A minus lambda i is equal to zero. Then what will be? Then we will get unique solution, or other, or not no solution, or any another thing. Yes, 
as we will get infinite number of solutions. If the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0, we will get infinite number of solutions of a. Infinite number of solutions of a. Infinite number of solutions this is a special case here some uh, things are uh, very important to the, to the consider of x solutions of x here are some important things now if this happens for any and uh, n homogeneous equation you have to remember that uh, is called characteristic equation um, of the variable x. This is a characteristic equation. So we will get also infinite number of solutions and this this uh, if this happens the determinant of this uh, coefficient matrix is equal to zero then it will be called uh, characteristic equation. This would be the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation. If you solve this, in n homogeneous equation, then we will get the variable uh, as um, we will get the um, um, values of lambda as a variable. So, what is now lambda is? If you solve, then uh, you will get the uh, solution of lambda, means the values of the lambda. So, here solving this characteristic equation, you will get the roots of lambda. Roots, roots of lambda. These roots of lambda are called eigenvalues. They are called eigenvalues. This is very important. Eigen For latent values or characteristic value or eigen values or latent values of the characteristic equation. All the uh, roots of the lambda will get, um, we will call eigen values, latent values or characteristic values. Now, this is the I think. So how how, uh, how much we will get the uh, number of roots? So this is the n n uh, nth order square matrix, and this is nth order square matrix. We will get uh, the lambda's roots na number n. So number of roots number of We will get uh, lambda with n. So this can be written as lambda roots as a set. As a set, you can say first bracket, but it is not a set. So first bracket lambda one. Lambda 2, polar eigen values, lambda 3, dot 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 dot, lambda n, polar eigen values of the characteristic, characteristic equation. Now, <coughs> for any eigen value, lambda 1 or lambda 2, 
the <coughs> corresponding uh, values of x uh, corresponding in values you will get of x that have the number you find uh, now writing x1 x2 x1 x2 these are called eigenvectors dot 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 eigenvectors so lambda 1 giving infinite number of eigenvectors e lambda 1 number of eigenvectors so lambda 2 also give an infinite number of eigenvectors yeah, eigenvectors in this way lambda i n can uh, can give an infinite number of eigenvectors so uh, any eigenvalue can uh, rel uh, related to a infinite number of eigenvectors so there are uh, infinite number of eigenvectors related to a eigenvalue <coughs> now on we have get a minus lambda i determinant of a minus lambda i this if you uh, do not equal to 0 then you, you will get it is a polynomial in lambda it will be a polynomial in lambda it will be equal to a function of lambda this is for characteristic polynomial very important this is called characteristic polynomial So, characteristic polynomial is clear to all of you. It will be in uh, uh, it will be in the variable lambda. Very important. Polynomial. So, the term the determinant of the coefficient is a minus lambda i for the characteristic polynomial in lambda of what to the degree of the matrix the matrix or identity matrix the same order will be the lambda so lambda's in power of what will be maximum power lambda we will get n n to n n will be the maximum power of the uh, characteristic polynomial so, lambda maximum power will get lambda n plus coefficient e1 e1 e 1 e 1 2 i am taking e 1 lambda n minus 4 dot 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 plus A. So this will be the characteristic polynomial in lambda. And this maximum power is a, which is equal to the uh, <coughs> opposite matrix, square matrix of uh, square matrix e is order, or identity matrix i is order equal to the uh, uh, lambda's uh, highest power lambda n. So, this is the characteristic.
now in this uh, uh, with this relation we must want I must want to see what is scale a Hamilton theorem scale a Hamilton theorem scale a Hamilton theorem just uh, describing this that that every square matrix any square matrix must uh, satisfy its characteristic equation or characteristic, uh, characteristic equation every square matrix uh, we know the characteristic equation characteristic polynomial if you equal to zero the characteristic polynomial what is so this is equal to lambda a minus lambda i so when it will be equal to 0 this will be the characteristic equation so when any square matrix uh, according to the Kelly Hamilton theorem any square matrix must satisfy this if a is a square matrix a is a Square matrix, square matrix, square matrix, then it must satisfy that. Get. I am proving also in short manner a minus lambda lambda will be e because lambda is uh, substituted by a any square matrix i identity matrix is equal to what will you get a minus determinant of a minus c a minus a then when you will uh, um, subtract same matrix from same matrix you must get zero so this is the clear matrix theorem and it's true it is not true you will not get this in your book what is a very good proof very short proof and if you will take any example uh, taking any any example you have to need to find out the characteristic equation first and then you uh, put uh, put, uh, put the matrix then you get the element of theorem uh, universally true there is no uh, x uh, X, uh, X uh, case uh, against any square matrix must satisfy its characteristic, characteristic you must get hmm. <laughs> example Verify, verify this. Can you tell you if this is your homework? You have to do in exercise book. Verify. Verify if the Hamilton theorem is true or not for this matrix A. Where A is. 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3, and 0, 1, 2. We have to find out its first characteristic equation and then we have to substitute the value of lambda 
by a. Now, what will be the characterization of polynomial in in the uh, in in lambda? Then substitute a in, in place of lambda and prove that your right hand side is equal to zero or not. Just verify. Tell Hamilton. This is your home. Now I uh, want to discuss Jordan canonical form. Uh, you have to know first such kind of diagram that such a matrix is that uh, here you get one, here you are getting. Here you are getting 3, here 4, here 8, here 7, here 0, here 0, here 0. This is called triangular matrix. This is called triangular matrix. This can be put time. Upper triangular or lower triangular. Uh, lower triangular matrix. Triangular matrix. Uh, that uh, below the diagonal um, diagonal part, all elements are zero. This is lower triangular. This is lower triangular. And if you take this example. Zero, zero, zero. Here nine, here eight, here one, here two, here three. So you are looking that uh, above the diagonal, all the elements are zero. This is called upper triangular. Upper triangular. <coughs> so what is a diagonal di diagonal matrix? Diagonal matrix means diagonal elements exist. Now other elements are equal to zero. Uh, look this. Take this two, five. Seven and other elements. This is zero. 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 And this is zero. So just diagonal elements exist, and no other elements are have um, value other than zero. Then this is called diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix. matrix. One basic property of the diagonal matrix is that its the diagonal elements must equal to its uh, its eigenvalues. So 257 must be its eigenvalue. Here lambda eigenvalue will be 257. 2, 5, and 7. So the diagonal elements must be equal to its eigenvalue. So this is the basic property of a diagonal matrix. Now we know the Jordan canonical form. Jordan from this is one, three, four, dot 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 dot. We take here now. 
end then you can keep uh, before um, uh, up, upper next upper of the diagonal all the elements one this is also one this is also one and the next of the elements are zero this is zero this is zero this is zero and the last it is also zero this is also zero this is also zero the other elements also zero this is also zero here we will have zero 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 So in this form, if you look at this is called Jordan character form. The diagonal elements exist and it, it is different value from zero and the next upper must be the uh, next upper of the diagonal element so all are equal to one. So you have to know that the diagonal element must be the eigen values. Diagonal elements must be lambda the eigen values must be here 1 3 4 dot 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 n so all the diagonal elements must be its eigen values and the next upper will be all 1 and the all other elements will be 0 then we will call it Jordan canonical form Jordan canonical form Okay. See, this, this is very important. There are many questions, very important for the uh, examinations. Many questions are asked. Any matrix can be transferred into a kind of form. Take an example. Look this A is a square matrix in this form. Three minus one minus one one zero minus one. Minus two five and four. Can it be deduced in order chemical form? And if it can do can be done, then what will be? So we know the row of pressures, just doing the row of pressure uh, uh, get the Jordan canonical form. I am doing so. Here we will do operation R3, R3 will be changed, R3 will be changed uh, in this form, R3 plus what over R1, R3 plus R1, then what will get, R3 plus R1, after this, will get in this form 3 1 minus 2 minus 1 and the two rows are will same first row and then, uh, second row which is zero row which is just the third row will, uh, is will be changed and it will be 2 0 and this will be 2 
Now we go and uh, since uh, we need to Jordan can we go further we go further and B zero zero questions also this question and here one so we put another operation but third operation that uh, will take R3 will be changed now R3 will be changed by which R3 will be changed by 2R2 2R2 plus R3 plus R3 So what will you get? Three, one, minus two, minus two, minus one. You can calculate very easily. Zero, five. And here zero again, zero again, and this is two and we'll get after this operation R3 to two R2 plus R3. So now we have to further reduce. Now we have to further because uh, here we need also 0 and here minus uh, in, in place of minus 2 uh, we need 0 in place of 5 we need a 1 so we do another operation this will be Three or two. Then we will get. Three one minus two. Here is more zero. Here also we get zero. Here we get zero. Here we get one. Here will be thirty. Here will be zero, and here will be two. Now we need further operation. Uh, here we need one, and here we need zero. For zero, we can get two. So. We need more operations. We'll do now R one. We'll change R one by which R one will be changed by one by six. R3 R3 plus R1 So we'll get 3 1 0 This is necessary 
the hat and bring zero here. Zero. One. Then will be thirteen. And this is zero. Zero. And this is twelve. Now here we need one uh, to make the other number one. So we deduce one more of this. This is one more of this and we will get the Jordan number one. So do this very carefully. Now get one more of this. <coughs> this is equal to. Now uh, we will get our desired Jordan number one. Just taking one or more of this. I will change R2 to R2 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 minus R3. R2 so we get our desired Jordan can be from 3 1. 0 1 1 0 0 12 this is our golden diagram so <coughs> in this uh, way we can also say what are the uh, eigen values of this form so uh, we can say one again value is three, one second again value is one, and third again value is eleven. So from this diagram, from this Jordan kind of form, we can very easily say that the matrix A beta A and has three eigen values, all are distinct and all are positive. Three, one, and twelve, all are real also. So this is the required Jordan kind of form. So I think it is clear now. Three again values we have already found, and the Jordan Kernel form also we have found. So, I think uh, this video also enhances your ability in matrix and senior level of matrix, high level of matrix. And you will like also, please share in these videos, share with your friends, and uh, like these videos, and comment me in my comment box, and of course, subscribe this channel. Of course, subscribe this channel. Uh, you have to need to discuss with your friends such kind of videos. Uh, to watch these videos with your friends, discuss with them, arrange questions, ask me this or this question. And about these videos, if you have any question, any doubt, any problem, or any question you, you, uh, you are uh, facing, then uh, send me in my comment box. I must solve it. Mm -hmm. and subscribe to the channel thank you thank you very much